guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. So for today's video, I'm actually really freaking excited. I have been planning this video for like way over a week now. As you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be recreating some of my favourite YouTubers outfits. Now I've done this before, but it was like a while back. Like I feel like it was like maybe in lockdown. I basically just picked a bunch of my favourite YouTubers and went on to their Instagrams, had a little scroll through and picked out some of my favourite fits. When I've done this video before, like you do all the outfits and you'd be like, oh my god, I've never Ever, ever ever picked to wear that but then it looks sick on and i've literally had the exact same thing in this video outfits actually so so sick also need to add my nose is literally so blocked right now i don't even know what's happened i just <laughs> i don't even know if i sound weird or different at all but like i literally can't breathe from my nose which is fantastic really love these kind of videos i hope you guys are going to really enjoy it too if you do enjoy them please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and yeah let's just get into the video who should we freaking start off with i feel like i've picked some cool people i'm not gonna lie, like i'm buzzing with my choices and my outfits for them i shouldn't get myself too hyped up about this because you guys could literally be like shannon what the frick is that like you've made an absolute mess out of that who should we start off with and by the way i actually went the extra mile with one of them kind of two of them actually brute fully recreating the fun photo not even just like recreating the outfit recreate the freaking photo let's start off with the one and only olivia neil now this outfit that i put on the screen like this is vibes like i'm kind of here for it i think it's really really cool i also thought it was kind of like easier for me to recreate than some of her stuff because we all know that some of the stuff that she wears is so bougie like i can't be going out and buying like a mew mew i can't even say is it mew 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 so freaking wrong is it i don't know how to say it like i actually don't if you watch my boohoo haul then you will know that i picked up a pair of camo cargos so i thought you know what this outfit is a perfect one to recreate so i've got these cargos from boohoo i mean apart from like all the pockets down the leg are these or are these not identical like i was buzzing with these i was like oh my god they literally fit the outfit vibe perfectly wear these in a size eight in case any of you guys are wondering just a really cool pair of cargo trousers we all love a pair of cargo trousers so i'm completely here for these top i'm not gonna lie did take a little bit longer to find just purely on the basis that i'm really like it needs to be spot on perfect i feel like i've done a kind of good job so it's the little keyhole crop tops and pretty little thing i'm sure you guys have seen this like this kind of basically went viral in the white literally phase a few months ago where everyone was wearing them constantly so they do actually do it in black so it's just got the little cut out front the twist bottom that like kind of goes up so it's basically like the little cut out thing on olivia's top i actually love these tops you know they're actually so comfy to wear super inexpensive and they also like got a little bit of something about them plt pulled through this thanks plt her having them black chunky trainers on was absolutely fantastic for me because i just paired it with my black tracks and then i actually picked up the accessories from boohoo so first up we have these glasses which i feel like are pretty spot on I like an orangey red vibe for the frame and then for the bag believe it or not i do have a black shoulder bag it's at uni that was the issue <laughs> again i just picked up this little shoulder bag from boohoo because i mean much as i would absolutely love that christian dior bag <laughs> my bank account says no and probably will be saying no for the next 10 years i actually really enjoy the length of the strap on this like it's a really nice length like look at that it's a first outfit i'm not gonna lie i think i've done a pretty good recreation of that i did now try and get like a photo in the car um and try and recreate the whole pose and stuff i will pop it on the screen it just it didn't quite hit the mark. I'm not gonna lie. I did try, but it just didn't really work. Can't Olivia use the door opens on the other way, if that makes sense. I feel like you guys will be able to tell by like the photo comparison, because I will do a photo comparison for you guys. Um, so I couldn't really probably recreate it. And then after I done it, I realised that I should have had it on wide camera lens. But I thought the overall outfit was really, really cool. Next, I feel like it would have been so rude for me to have not done Molly May. Like, she is just so freaking iconic. Like, I had to do her in this video. So, here is the outfit that I wanted to recreate. Again, I wanted to incorporate things that I thought would be easy for me to do, in a sense. This outfit's sick, and I really wanted to try the whole, like, jean and boot vibe with, like, my big lace-up boots. So, I was like, this is the perfect one. So, for the jeans, I've gone for these little ripped knee ones from Boohoo. I have had these for a little while now. Not as, like, washed black as I would have liked them to be, but I still like they're still pretty like good kind of match with the vibes and stuff with the ripped knee i'm pretty sure i don't know if she definitely did but i'm pretty sure she has her black ripped pretty little thing boyfriend jeans on in that picture don't hold me to that but they're really expensive and they're really cool as well i love the fit of the pretty little thing boyfriend jeans let me tell you a drew t-shirt is on my wish list of things that i want to buy this year like how random is that but like your girl can't quite stretch to that right now so i had a little hunt around i'm not gonna lie, i feel like the t-shirt 
was the trickiest part of the outfit because I just really didn't know what to go for. It was on PLT, of course, and I got this like really cute little like badge front top. I kind of feel like this kind of fit the vibes. Actually a really cute freaking t-shirt. I actually really love this. Got this in a size medium, so it's like proper oversized vibes. For the jacket, I actually picked up this leather one from Boohoo. I was saying in my Boohoo, I feel like leather jackets are literal gold dust to get at the moment. Pick this one up in a size small slash medium. I freaking love this jacket. I feel like again, fit the vibes perfectly. I was buzzing. Boots, again, I have had these for a little while now, but they're actually from Public Desire. These are as spot on on the boots front as I was gonna get. These made the outfit. I was so here for this outfit. Like this is an outfit I'm gonna be wearing again. It was cool. I felt like Molly May in it. I'm not gonna lie. So cool. It was like baddie vibes. So this is actually one of the photos that I went to recreate so i'll pop the kind of like pictures on the screen i'm really annoyed but like starbucks isn't close to me guys and i really really wanted a freaking starbucks cup to complete the look but i couldn't do that i'm sorry i mean the costa cup matches the chairs in the car so i thought it was like really cool this photo was going on my instagram i'm not gonna lie this outfit probably up there with my favorite because i would 100 percent like wear this again you guys know me you know how much i love a baddie moment every single time i say baddie like it's a problem i have to do like the little <laughs> it is a problem shall we move on to my girl has like i had to put has in this video i freaking love has she's great and this was actually the photo that i decided to recreate of has's i have like similar items to this whole complete outfit and i would never even think to put like a new crop blazer with the trousers that i have let me tell you has i freaking love you because this is an outfit that i'm gonna be wearing again this is why i love doing this video because i fully like discover outfits except for the trousers i'm pretty sure her ones are from motel um but i got these ones from zara a while back and i thought you know what they're actually a spitting image from the color i'm pretty sure the motel ones might be a bit more like brown say yeah, these are the ones from zara i feel like they're really really similar like I, say, I have had these for a while so i'm really sorry i don't know if you're gonna be able to get these for the top i literally just chucked on my like primark seamless white bra from the set i always wear this as a top on a night out at uni and at the blazer i went from this little cropped nude one that i've got from boohoo i've had again this a while and uh, it is so cute i this blazer genuinely has my heart and this whole outfit together i was like oh my god sick i did actually also pair it with my air force i have a white bag which really made me sad um has if you ever fancy let me borrow that white bag that'd be fantastic <laughs> you guys will see in the trial like this whole outfit was vibes i'm really annoyed i'm not at uni right now because i do not have a lift in any proximity close to me whereas at uni you guys know i live in flats like i have a lift so i'm really annoyed i didn't recreate this before i came home from uni then i could have done a full photo but i don't want to talk about it because it actually will upset me again that outfit it was also vibes as with just has let's move on to anastasia i have watched anna since i was 12 years old and i feel like it would be so rude for me to not do her in this video like she is probably the main reason to why i'm sitting the camera filming right now like that's actually bad so of course i had to recreate one of her outfits and i feel like it wouldn't be an anna outfit recreation if there wasn't some form of corset involved i don't think i've ever seen a girl look so good in a freaking corset i'm not gonna lie girl i swear be selling out the corsets because they were so hard to find the one i've got isn't spot on at all and i'm really annoyed about it because i wanted it to be like more cropped but it'll do is the pretty little thing little corset top doesn't this give you such a throwback to lockdown one you remember when they had like the pink and orange like patterned ones of these or like was it orange with the green and then it had like the pink with the purple because i had both of them i did have a white version of it so i thought you know what this is the best i'm gonna get i tucked in the straps i didn't actually have the straps out for this it was just a little bit too long like that's why i'm going about it because it's just a bit too long in length bottoms i actually put on these gray ones from asos this is what i mean like these are the perfect kind of like mid-rise to low-rise fit so with a crop corset i don't want to think about it because it would have been perfect they're actually really cool they've got little pockets on the side what was it kind of like a drawstring tie like i'm five foot seven if you're any shorter than me then these will be sick because you'd be able to have these baggy or as a jogger but they're a little bit too short for me to have them like over the trainer i have to like tie the ends and have the more jogger style actually know what shoes she had on in the photo but i do know that she has black tracks just kind of thought you know what i'll pair them with these and they actually look quite sick with these i was actually really here for the outfit white with the gray was just a moment like i was here for it so thanks anna for putting me on a little corset hype last but certainly not least because she is the queen um sophia tuxford i really wanted to do sophia and chintzia but there wasn't like an outfit of chintzias that i could find that i really wanted to recreate as such because you guys all know that half the time they wear sick hard to get clothes like or rented stuff which is again so cool but it's hard to find but i found this outfit of sophia's and i was like oh my god i can literally fully recreate that i was buzzing about it so i'm a little bit annoyed because the jeans that i'm convinced i brought back from uni but apparently i didn't like i really wanted to wear this outfit like 
I'm convinced I bought them back from uni, but like I say, they ain't anywhere to be found. I did end up having to pair them with these ones from Boohoo, and you're probably thinking, Shannon, these are like basically identical. The other ones I had were like a still real light blue, but like a shade darker. Like these are really, really light. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up how light they are. I have the Zara wide leg ones, and they're just, I'm pretty sure they could have even been the ones that she was wearing. So I've gone for these. And then with the classic Zara racer back rib, but I feel like the blazer that she was wearing is navy. It's definitely navy. <laughs> but I'd already ordered a black Zara a blazer like literally identical to the one that she was wearing because the blazer that she was wearing was Zara and I thought it's so unnecessary for me to order a navy one when I've just ordered a black one and I don't actually want the navy one so I thought you know what just keep it with the black look at the photo it's kind of like a navy black it was definitely navy but it's fine here is the black Zara blazer I if you're looking for a good blazer, like Zara's 100% the place you need to invest in because Zara's blazers are just incredible. And this is why I'm so hung up on the colour of jeans because the pack with that colour jean is just a no-go. Like it's just no on so many levels. This is why I'm hating this one. This is probably my least favourite out of them all just purely because I just don't think the colours go. But I mean, she's still cute. Of course, paired Sphere's outfit with these. I know that she loves her like Nike Air Force shadows. So I just feel like that was the perfect shoes for the outfit. And then I do actually have a hat if you guys remember i also have this little collusion hat again not completely the vibes but still kind of the vibes now for the try on clip with this i just done a normal try on clip for you guys and i did actually go the extra mile to sit down on my little chair and put my leg up and try and recreate the pose so no this is that is that what it does vibes <laughs> Do you know what? I still think it looked quite cute. I'm gonna be real with you guys. I won't actually know exactly how well I've done until I edit this footage back because realistically I'm sitting here like, oh my god, I did such a good job. Like in my head, I think I did, and then I'll edit this video back and be like, Shannon, like that's just not it. She had so so much fun like doing this video, putting some outfits together. Let me know down below what outfit was your favourite. And if you want me to do a part two to this video, let me know what YouTubers, influencers you want me to do next. I feel like I've still got like quite a few in mind that I really wanted to do. I will try and link as much down below as I possibly can. So some of this stuff I have had for a little bit of a while now because I didn't want to go and like buy stuff unnecessarily. I really hope you guys did enjoy this little outfit recreation video. If you did then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe down below and I will see you all on Tuesday for a brand new video.